Hello Year 10 students and families. Uh, my name is Mr Player and I'm Director of Learning for Key Stage 4. So my job really um, in terms of being in school is to try to give students uh, the roots to grow uh, and then the wings to fly. So for me that's about ensuring that students are academically, socially, mentally and physically um, ready to be successful and then giving them the opportunities and the aspirations um, to fly and be successful uh, and flourish once they leave Framingham L. Um, so these quotes kind of sum up um, how I view my job really. Um, it's about ensuring that when students get to the end of year 11, they're ready to spread their wings and go and fly and flourish uh, in the wider world. So the start of Year 10 is a really good opportunity uh, for us to review, to reset and to start again. It's a good segue uh, in your five year high school journey uh, and particularly given the extended school closure that we've had um, this year more than ever is a good opportunity to, to start again. Most of year 10 had fantastic key stage three journeys. Um, and even those who didn't, this is an opportunity to start over, uh, start afresh and really attack year 10 and year 11 um, and be successful. So at the moment we're at base camp. We've got a two year journey and we want to get to the summit. Uh, and this is a team journey together. And so we want to try and map out our journey uh, and how we get to that um, summit successfully. For me, Key stage four in particular is about just doing the right things every single day. Uh, and as it said, the sum of those small efforts repeated day in, day, day out will be reaped with your rewards uh, at the end of year 11. It's certainly not about cruising through year 10, cruising through year 11, uh, and then having a big leap of faith just before those exams uh, at the end of year 11. The exam season will be tough but it will be tougher if you haven't put in the work up to that point. So I talked to students and I have talked to students already this term about just bringing your A game every single day. Um, because if you do those basic things, you will reach that summit and that those attainment and GCSE grades very successfully. So to break that down a little bit, the first thing obviously is attendance is vital in year, year 10 and 11 that students are in school as much as possible. Um, obviously, we, we've got a lot of stuff to cram in in terms of your GCSEs, so it's vital that you don't miss stuff because you may miss topics. Now, we're aware that obviously in the current scenario, students might be missing school. Uh, if that does happen, again, it's really important that you keep up to date with your work um, and make sure that you, um, you're on your team's um, groups checking in on show my homework and making sure that you're up to speed with all of your work. Um, I think we've all seen with the school closure at the end of last year the value of being in school. So if you are fit and healthy um, and have the opportunity to be in school then get yourself there because that's where we can help you um, as much as possible. So the next thing I talk about to students is about appearance. And that's just consistent high expectations all of the time. Set yourself those high expectations. You're young adults now. So it's all about looking smart, turning up to classrooms, looking ready to learn, um, presenting yourself in the best possible way and setting those high standards for yourself so that people start to look at you as somebody um, to look up to. And that's something by the time you get to Key Stage 4 you should be doing. Probably the most important thing in terms of Key Stage 4 success um, is your attitude. Um, and it really isn't a coincidence uh, that yes, knowledge is important, hard work is important, but it will be your attitude and being able to be resilient, pers persevere at subjects, um, really learn from any mistakes that you make. It will be those things that will set you apart. So we will be helping you with your study skills um, and all of those attributes so that you've got good time management, good organisation, you know how to learn. Uh, because if you do those things and you put hard work um, with it, then you're bound to be successful. Um, and I talk to students about being respectful, being responsible and being ready. 
And by the time we get to year 10 and 11, we should be able to do all of those things. It's dropping any silly behaviours that may have existed in year 7, 8 and 9. Um, and being those young adults that can step up and be successful in and out of the classroom. And then it is about our aspiration. Obviously, our school motto is around anything's possible. Um, and I definitely believe that with all Framingham Hill students. You're in a fantastic school. You're, you've got the opportunity now with two years to go until um, you leave us to really set your goals and go off and achieve what you want to. If you don't know what that is at the moment, then that's absolutely fine as well. But it's about being the best you can be at everything you do. Um, and that will mean that you have as many opportunities as possible when you get to the end of year 11. I talk to students about making sure you've got lots of doors open to you when you finish at Framingham Earl so that you can step into the next phase of your life very, very easily. And that just comes from being an aspirational learner, someone who always wants to achieve their best uh, and having that I can attitude um, to things. You can do it. Uh, be resilient, uh, as I've mentioned before, because that aspiration and that attitude will enable you to achieve the school motto of anything's possible. And if you do all of those things, um, and those are the foundations, the building blocks, then actually the attainment, the success part, the sitting the exams at the end of year 11, will actually be quite easy because you'll have put in every single day hard work, You'll have got into good um, habits and good attitudes and actually sitting those exams will just be the pinnacle of the next two years. Um, and those students who show those attributes all the way through actually find the exam season um, quite enjoyable because it's a chance to show off and say, I've done this for over the last two years. Here's my time to shine. And there will be blips along the way. There will be uh, difficult moments, both academically and personally. Um, and we're here as a guidance team to be able to, to pick you up, for you to, to be able to support you. Um, so it's really important that students do come to us if they're finding things difficult. And from a parent's point of view, if students are coming home and they're finding things difficult, then speak to us because we want to try and help. But it is important that we realise that those little failures along the way are just um, building blocks towards success. Because we don't really fail, we either win or we learn. Um, and it's really important that we learn along the way. But we're also experienced enough to know that students sometimes need a bit of guidance and support with that um, and some positivity because it can be difficult. Um, it's a difficult time in terms of your school and it's a difficult time personally. So we are here to help you. And that's a really important message to get across to you, both students and to families. And the kind of bad news is that from here on in, time will fly. Uh, the good news is that you guys are the pilots. Um, and I often talk about us as a guidance team um, and families and parents almost being like a, the cabin crew, the support staff that are helping along the way. Um, the ones that are helping you to get to where you want to and pointing you in the right direction. But it's really vital that you start taking ownership of your education um, and taking ownership and responsibility for the choices that you make. Um, it will fly by. Um, parents who've had students go through it already will know that. Um, so it's really vital that you make the most of the time that you've got. 30 minutes a day. Um, two and a half hours a week that would add up to over 70 weeks would give you 175 hours of learning time. If I offered you 175 hours of learning time at the end of year 11, you'd absolutely take it. You've got the time now, it's just about doing a little bit every single day to get to that point. So if you could do 30 minutes more, going back, rereading notes, revising topics that you found difficult, putting a little bit more work into your homework, you would find 175 hours worth of extra learning by the time you finish year 11. And we're not expecting you to be there um, yet. We're not expecting you to be ready to, to sit exams and to be successful straight away. But it's ensuring every single day you get a bit closer to your final goals. It's about making sure you make the most of every single day. You achieve your goals for those days, for those weeks. And if you do that, 
then ultimately you will be successful at the end of Key Stage 4. So that's it from me today. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. Remember that if you have any questions, there is a Zoom meeting on Thursday at 6.30. And if you've got any other questions that you'd like to direct personally at me, um, then give me a, a call or email uh, myself, which you should have received in the letter that you got from me last week. Thank you very much, students and parents. Take care. Bye-bye.